going on, everyone? I am Bob O'Mac, and today on Crisis in the Toyverse, we're back looking at more Ghostbuster 2 figures from Diamond Select. And in this review, we're going to be covering the geared up version of Lewis Tully from Ghostbusters 2. That's right. Remember the scene where he puts on the Spangler outfit and he's waiting outside, and then Slimer shows up in the bus? Well, this is this Lewis Tully for those who have been living under a rock. I really have nothing to complain about. Like, the suit looks really good, and uh, even though it is an Egon Spangler suit. Kind of makes you wonder how he fit everything, because Egon's kind of a tall dude. But, you know, the head sculpt looks pretty good. Lewis looks kind of constipated, I won't lie. But he he has that look to him. And, I mean, it looks like if you walked up to Lewis totally and went, Aah! he'd be like, Aah! and there goes the Proton Wand, but that's okay. Um, the earmuffs are sculpted in. It would have been nice if we had an alternate head with this guy. Um, that was kind of a complaint with the first Lewis Tully figure. But, you know, it's not like a deal breaker or anything. It's not going to make me go, yeah, I'm not my toy anymore. It's just something I would have liked to have seen. As for the rest of the suit, it looks good. We got the lifesaver attached to the belt now i do have something to point out with mine i'm sure this wasn't with everyone's the hose that's attached to him it actually broke in package before i even pulled it out and i didn't even notice it so i just super glued it back together so it does look a little weird hopefully nobody else has had that issue uh the boots look fine obviously you can you can see that the outfit has been tucked in a lot more because like i said uh, Egon is a lot taller than Lewis, but you know, overall, it's pretty good. We got the Ghostbusters 2 logo on this suit, and that looks very good as well. The Proton Pack looking fantastic for a $20 figure, and overall, very satisfied with that. So, why wait any further? Let's go ahead and break down articulation. Now, in terms of the head, it can look down, can look up, it can go side to side. And spin around 360 Exorcist style. In terms of the arms, they are a little stiff, but they can, you can't get them to go up that far. They can go down and spin all the way around. Now, we do have a hinge and swivel at the elbow here. We have rotation and uh, hinge at the hand. We have the diaphragm joint in the front that allows the side-to-side -side action. Can look somewhat down, can go somewhat back. And we do have a waist cut. We also have Kung Fu style, Louis Tully. His legs can go out that far. You can bring him back in. You can kick up about that far, and he can go back that much. We do have a thigh cut right here. That works pretty well. We do have a double bend at the knee. Nothing wrong with that. And then we have a hinge that goes up and down. Mine's kind of tight. And you do have the ankle rocker built in right there. So all in all, not too shabby to say the least for old Lewis Tully. He's ready to go bust some ghosts and try to save the day. So let's go ahead and do the accessories and take it from there. All right, gang, we are back. And yes, it is accessories galore. Now, these accessories are pretty standard with the Diamond Select Ghostbuster figures. So nothing really new here. We have the Proton Stream with the clip. We have the Ghost Trap with the pedal. We have... Three sets of additional hands. We got some open and closed gloved hands. And we also have some open gripping hands that are without gloves. And of course the walkie talkie. These accessories are always nice to be included. And Lewis Tolley is ready for some ghost busting action if I say so myself. Now let's stop it right here for a moment and let's cover the diorama piece. Now, in terms of diorama pieces that come with Louis Tully, we get an additional door to help complete the build of that firehouse. It is pretty much the same door as the other one. As you can see, it's got great detail on the handle and the lock, and the door does open and shut. And, of course, once it's connected, it will be able to swing in and out. So, all in all, very cool, very exciting, you know. Like I said, it's pretty awesome that we're getting a firehouse build here something sorely needed for our ghostbuster collecting needs now with that being said let's go ahead and do a size comparison and wrap this video up 
All right, folks, size comparison time. In the middle, of course, we got Louis Tolley in the Egon Spangler outfit. And speaking of Egon, we have him to the left here from his Ghostbusters 1 appearance. And on the other side, we have Ray Stance in his Ghostbusters 2 uniform. These guys look fantastic with one another. Louis Tolley may not be everyone's favorite, and why that is... Not the case, I have no idea, but I'm very happy to have this figure in my collection, and if you're building the diorama piece, he is an essential get for this line. Now, I will say this, I look forward to adding him into more toy photography photos, and I think he's just a fun figure to have, and I love the size difference on all these guys. It is truly a work of art, what the team over at Diamond Select Toys is doing. So do yourself a favor, go pick it up today. Now with that being said, I'm pretty much out of time here. So thank you guys always for the comments, the likes, the support, and taking time out of your day to see what I'm doing here. I got a whole bunch of links in the description below. Go check those out as well. Extreme Dash Sets has got some new stuff dropping soon that you're not going to want to miss. Also, for all toy needs, head over to BigBetToyStore.com and make sure you join us on the World Wide Web over at UndercoverCapes.com. we got reviews, podcasts, videos like this, and so much more, and that is at UndercoverCapes.com. And don't forget, join us on Instagram at Toy Lover Crew to see all the fun that is going on with toy photography. With that being said, I'm out of here. Slideshow at the end. And until next time, great googly moogly.